Hey guys, it's Angie. Welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers. I appreciate you. We're going to get this top done today. I'm really excited about this taper. Yes, I got my hair cut. What do you think? <laughs> First one since COVID-19 come around. Anyway, it's going to be a three-parter because um, I'm going out of town. But I wanted to show you the top, so thanks for joining me. Y'all have a good one. Later. Okay, I've got my top coat on, and what I used was bare chalk paint from Home Depot mixed with Floetrol and a little bit of water. Okay? I'm not going to worry about the edges so much right now. We can, I can touch that up. I'm in the paint. Yeah, if I have any places I can hit it with a brush when I'm done, no big deal. Let's get a design put on this bad boy. Okay, my first color is Prussian blue. Let me see. I'm going to start right here. Something like that. This is magenta. Man, I hope this does well. Then we got turquoise by Artist Loft. Wanting to get lost in it. Try that again. Of course, you got to have a little 24 karat gold. And we got bright aqua by Liquitex. And I'm going to add a little bit of Brilliant Yellow Green. A little bit of White Amsterdam. I think I'm going to put a little bit more turquoise on the top. All right, keep our fingers crossed. This is a big one. It's real important to me because it was Dad's. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this color so I can blow it out better. Okay, let's do this. Got my old trusted hair dryer ready. We're going to start in the middle.
very pretty. It's really reacting with this chalk paint. Lots of sales. I didn't get as much color through here. So I'm thinking about adding some more. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little more color right through here. It's one thing you can do, you can always add. I'm going to add a little bit of magenta through here. So I can get it out. I'm taking the top off would help. bit of Prussian blue. What else we need? Um, maybe some turquoise. Bright aqua. Yeah, that's just, there's nothing there. Let's try this. Don't ever wear a tie shirt trying to do this. It has been in my way. Gotta have color. That's really pretty. Really, really pretty. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, guys. This is beautiful. It's making a lot of sales. I guess the chalk paint is reacting to the other paints. Look at that. Oh, my God. I hope this dries well. Look at that. Yeah, a lot of those are popping up. I hope they don't take over and take my color away. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so excited. I hope this dries good. It's real delicate right there. Look at that. And I blew out a few places on it. Some of the petals. Look at 
Look at that. The gold and the greens through here. Really pretty. I guess we'll find out tomorrow how it dries, huh? Because wood dries really fast. Isn't that pretty? I can't hardly get an overall. It's so big. And the base will be the color of the background. And it's really pretty. All right, I'll bring you back when we, after we resin it, give you a look. See, I'll check you in a little bit. Hey guys, it's Angie. Well, it's been a few days, and I've got two coats of resin on the top. Really, really pretty. Sorry for the glare. And what we're going to do next, I'm going to take some 220 and sand it again a little bit, scuff it up. It don't have any imperfections, but there's one little piece of lint. Let me see. Let me see it. It's right there. Where's my finger at? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's no big deal, but when we sand it, you won't be able to see that anymore. And what I'm going to use for the first time is Stone Coat's Ultimate Top Coat Gloss. And this stuff, I only have 15 minutes of working time, and this is the first time using it, so I'm going to try to be careful because I sure don't want to mess this up. So I'm going to set you up, and we're going to do this. Be right back. I'm back and before we start this I want to show you these two I just finished. You got two coats of resin. Isn't that pretty? Look at those cells. I don't think I shook my flow trawl up well enough that day. It just went crazy. And here's another one. I actually filmed this one. And I don't know if I left my autofocus on or what, but it was just so white you couldn't hardly see it. I really like that one. Okay, I'm going to set you up, and we're going to do this top coat on this table. Okay. You want to shake this stuff up. Not real hard, but you want it to mix because there's a lot of stuff in the bottom. That cigarette out. It's a nasty habit. And with this, you only have 15 minutes of working time, so you got to work kind of quick with it. Two parts of this A, one part B. And I'm going to take a good guess that this is going to need 20 ounces two ounces sorry and I got these cups on Amazon it's got the ounces on they're disposable so I'm gonna put two ounces of this this stuff is not cheap it was almost seventy dollars but it makes the top very durable and scratch free so I think it's important any kind of furniture that I do to make it as durable as possible and I have spared no expense on this guy okay I have three rollers the first one is to put it on and what you want to do is run your roller under some tape. That way you'll get any fuzzies off. And I'm 
going to run these other two under it too, so they'll be ready. We may only need two, but just in case, I'm going to keep an extra one handy. And this is to get any kind of seam lines off. Really should have a six inch roller, but it's the best I could do. Okay, now we're going to mix them. Find a good place to put these where they won't get dusty. I don't want no dust. Alright, one ounce of this. There we got it. We should have brought a stirring stick. I'm real prepared today. And stir this up real well. Stone Coat's a good company, so I know it's a good product. And then you want about two thirds of a cap full of water. water. And we're going to stir this up real well. We're going to pour it in our pan. Okay, and you want to get that roller really saturated in this stuff. And here we go. good coat on here. My roller ain't rolling good. Then I'm going to roll right around the edges. What is that? I don't know where that came from. Now, I'm going to take the next roller. Across here and get those seam lines out. And the third roller, we did need three. Just gonna get the remaining seam lines out. This takes 24 hours and then you can start using it already.
Ja, mit Gehirn. You're supposed to use a quarter inch nap. This is a little bit bigger, so I hope it don't mess it up. I can see just a little bit right there. There we go. Now we're going to let this sit for 24 hours, and I'll bring you back.